have the happy crabbers. They were out crabbing and got almost a bushel of crabs. And these are Maryland blue crabs. You see the claws are blue. And they're putting them in the steam pot with Old Bay seasoning. And then, oh, one got away. <laughs> back in the pot with you. And then after they get steamed, they turn from green to red. And we will show you how to pick a Maryland blue crab and get the crab meat. In the previous video, we had the happy crabbers, Mary and Charlotte, catching their crabs, taking them out of the bushel basket and putting them in the steam pot. And now, here is Charlotte, ready to show you how to pick a Maryland blue crab. You notice they did steam and change from green to red. So you're going to take your crab by the back fin. This is their back fin and the top of their shell and pull it apart. You wanna take these out? These are called dead man's fingers for a reason. They can make you sick. We're gonna take off the dead man's fingers, clean out all the inside. And then if you wish, you can go to the back side of the crab, take out the pan which makes it easier to crack the crab in half. And then you can start taking meat out if it comes off as you crack it. To take your uh, back fin out, which is your back section of your crab, you're going to take your thumb to the middle between the last leg and your fin and break the leg off. And then you have your back fin. And then you have your cavities of each crab leg. Don't eat the legs, not worth their time. We're gonna break off the claw, <laughs> and take the meat from the cavity. I like to take my cavity of the body and press it in half and then split it in half again, which opens up the cavities to remove your crab. And then here you can use your crab legs to pull some of the meat out. Or just take your fingers and break it apart to pull it out from all the shell. Now to crack a claw, I like to separate them. Sometimes your meat will come out and you separate them. If not, I only use a crab hammer, which is made out of wood. Use a cutting board underneath so you don't crack your mother's table. <laughs> Open up your shells in half and pull out the meat. For your claw, you're going to take the top part of your claw, which is up here near the hinge, goes like this. Don't put your fingers in it while they're alive. And you're going to smack it right here at the knuckle and then crack it. And then you get your crab claw. And you can either eat it right off of the crab claw or take it off and put it into a pile. And then you proceed with the second half of your crab. Again, you take your thumb and break it between your crab leg and your back fin. Break your leg off. Take your meat. Peel down the shell from your back fin. And then you get all your clean meat. Break it in half again. And pull it out of the cavities. Cavities are similar to your ribs. They have bone in between them. In this case, shell in between them. Then you pull your meat out. Again, we're going to split your crab claw in half. Lightly hammer. Don't smack it so hard that you crush it. 
or else you, your food will become inedible because you'll have too much shell. Crack it on the knuckle, break it off, and you have your crab claw shell again. Do you want me to do that one? No, thank you very much. So, from a crab, we get a wonderful pile of pure, wonderful crab meat. Thank you, Charlotte. You're very welcome.